Welcome to Geneva and WISIS 2022 Forum. And I'm delighted to say that with me here is His Excellency, Professor Isa Ali Ibrahim. Good morning. Thank you very much. Glad to meet you here. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Thank you. Um, so, um, and congratulations on your appointment as chairman of, of the much. 2022 Forum. Um, I'm what thankful. Are your, what, I'm sure you are. What are your impressions of WISIS Forum 2022? I think my impression is an excellent one. Particularly, there is excitement because of uh, many reasons. Number one, you know, many activities were disrupted by COVID-19 pandemic, and uh, we used to conduct them virtually. I think this is the first event that uh, of WISIS that we converge physically uh, to interact with our colleagues, experts all over the world. So there is excitement. One, two. Uh, also, the impression is good looking at the diversity of people coming from different parts of the world. Each and every continent is uh, significantly represented with uh, at least high level delegation. And uh, thirdly, looking at the quality of uh, engagement, discussions, debates and many more. So because of this, the impression is uh, an excellent one indeed. <laughs> and it's so nice to see everybody here all, all together. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I in your vision, how do you see the future of the uh, WISIS process beyond 2025? Uh, firstly, I begin by appreciating the effort of uh, the United Nations through the International Telecommunication Union and other sister organizations for finding me worthy of uh, this appointment to serve as the chair of our World Summit on Information Society uh, for 2022. I appreciate this and I will do the best I can to ensure that 2022 is the most successful year with regards to WISIS. Uh, furthermore, m uh, the next question is about my plan. Mm. Oh, the, my plan about WISIS usually, if you look at the event, it is restricted to most probably from March to June or early June. My plan for WISIS is to extend our activities even virtually to the end of the year. And I have made a recommendation that uh, there is need for high level uh, advisory council that will be meeting virtually to discuss what are we going to achieve within the year. And also I have made a recommendation of establishing a high-level implementation committee that will be able to identify our resolutions during WISIS 2022 and ensure that these resolutions are being implemented. So it means each member country should be represented at least in the implementation committee. With this, we will determine our baseline after this event and by the end of the year, we will be able to track and assess our performance. So because of this, this is what I a device and this is what I'm working on with the Secretary General of uh, the ITU. So really close tracking of achievement against the sustainable yes, development goals. Yes, that is what is important. Let us not make it just a ceremonial event after today or tomorrow, that is all. No, it sh we should continue to track the performance. What are our resolutions? We identify the role of each and every institution and ensure that these resolutions are being implemented. It is, this is the innovative idea and the initiative I have come up with, which I believe will strongly make WISIS 2022 the best ever. As you know, WISIS uh, commenced in 2003 here in Geneva, uh, Switzerland, and then in Tunis, Tunisia in 2005. And uh, this is the 20th year of WISIS. So I want to ensure that 2022 is the best. And with the initiatives we have on table, and the discussions we had this year, I believe this is uh, achievable. Your Excellency, thank you so much it for joining us today. It is my pleasure. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to meet with you. Thank you very much.